How's everyone doing? Today I'll be doing an unboxing review of the Innkeepers Limited Edition Gatefold Blu-ray. And if you've seen the Innkeepers, definitely let me know what you think of it. Let me know what your favorite ghost story is as well. And this is the size of a laser disc. It comes with a nice protective sleeve as well. Clear plastic sleeve. And there you go, you get a better look at it right there. And this is directed by Ty West. And this is actually a copy that was signed by the director Ty West right there. A nice silver Sharpie. And I thought this was an excellent movie. I was really surprised by this one because I went in going in thinking I wasn't going to enjoy it uh, because I really didn't enjoy Ty West's House of the Devil. I know that's not a popular opinion. I know everybody loves that movie. I've only heard of like one other person not liking that movie. Uh, but, you know, I just really didn't care for it. Yeah, it had the 80s vibe. Uh, but it just besides that, it didn't really do much for me. Uh, when she was in the house, she was just like 40 minutes for her walking around the house. I was just, I was just kind of bored with it, honestly. Uh, but then the last couple minutes, like five minutes at the ending, I just kind of let me down. All that build up for that, it just, it was a letdown for me personally. I liked the, the introductory scene was awesome. And some of the parts with the roommate, I thought the roommate was really awesome as well. Uh, there was a little bit of mood and atmosphere that I really did appreciate. But then once she was in the house by herself, it was just 40 minutes of nothing, essentially. And then that, that ending just didn't do it for me. So I went into this one. You know, I like to keep an open mind, but I was thinking, ah, if it's going to be the same as that one, probably not going to dig it too much. But I'm glad I gave this a fair chance. I really love the heck out of this one. It's probably one of my favorite uh, horror movies of the past few years. Uh, it's basically a classic ghost story. It's basically about a, two young people working at a inn, and it's their, the last weekend at the inn is going to be open. And uh, the cast is Sarah Paxton, Pat Healy. And there's a ghost story involving the inn about Madeline O'Malley who hung herself in one of the rooms on her wedding night and so there's you know all this kind of history and supposedly uh, the people hid the body uh, in the basement so people wouldn't know about it and you know there's this last weekend of them being there they're going around with EVT monitors and recorders and devices and things like that to pick up ghosts and see if they can find anything and find any proof that Madeline O'Malley was actually you know hung herself and was thrown into the basement essentially and it's got tons of atmosphere it's so creepy it feels like a classic ghost story reminds me of like the haunting that kind of same feel to it uh the haunting is one of my all-time favorite ghost stories but this is honestly the innkeepers probably makes my top 20 ghost stories of all time ghost story films uh, i really loved it and uh, again i love this edition very happy to have this edition but now let's take a more in-depth look at the innkeepers limited edition gatefold blu-ray let's check it out and here we go here's the innkeepers limited edition gatefold blu-ray really nice looking edition uh, and it's the size of a laser disc I'll go ahead and show you by comparison here it is uh, here's a crash laser disc right there um, and it's the same kind of gate fold where it opens up like that and it's the same size and just to show you in comparison the size of a blu-ray right there to this uh, limited edition gate fold and you can see it's a big difference like I said it's the size of a laser disc and again, really nice looking edition. And this is one that you couldn't buy anywhere. You can only get it uh, from promotions. Uh, different websites were having promotions for giveaways and things like that. Uh, Dark Skies was promoting the film in this new edition. So you couldn't buy it anywhere. And it's limited to 400 copies. So very cool. And there's the front cover right there. The Innkeepers title. A Ty West film. And then right here, you have the sign right there for the Yankee Peddler Inn. And it has a nice matte finish. Really cool, like you're looking upward at the sign. And there you go, there's the spine right there, the title. And there's the back right there. And there's some text right there. Welcome to the Yankee Peddler Inn of Torrington, Connecticut. And it just goes over like the history of the Yankee Peddler, which is pretty cool. And if you actually open this up full ways, you can see it's a continuation of the artwork. Right there. So that's pretty cool. You can see the building right there, wrapping around to where the sign is at the front. But now let's go ahead and open this up. And here we go on the inside. And there's Sarah Paxton right there, looking upward. And there's the whole staircase wrapping around. And one of the things that I really loved about this edition is uh, it's signed right there by Ty West. So that's really cool. And I actually really love this film. Uh, I wasn't 
going into it, I wasn't expecting to love it because I wasn't actually a big fan of uh, House of the Devil, uh, but this one blew me away. Uh, minimalistic horror. It just had such atmosphere, uh, great suspense and build up, and it really worked well. Just a classic ghost story, in my opinion. A modern classic. Uh, probably one of my favorite ghost stories of all time now. Really enjoyed it. And right here just goes over uh, the origins of the Innkeepers. Uh, talks about uh, Ty West's previous film, House of the Devil. And uh, just all kinds of stuff about haunted hotels and you know, just the production of the movie. And here's a little uh, excerpt from Eli Roth. One of the best, smartest, and scariest indie horror films I've seen in a long time. Definitely very creepy and atmospheric. And just love that shot of Sarah Paxton looking up. And then right here on the side, uh, I'll just go ahead and show you how it, if you look at it that way, you can see the openings for both sides. The one opening has the Blu-ray, which I'll show you right now. It slides out of this side. Have this piece of paper right there. Right there we go. And I love this shot right there, uh, Pat Healy, Sarah Pax, and I love the continuation of the disc artwork to the artwork behind right there. I love when sets do that. Uh, they did that for uh, the Walking Dead set recently, and they have it a bunch of different ones, but this one's really cool in particular. Uh, one thing I like about Sarah Paxton's character is holding the flashlight, and the flashlight is right where uh, the middle of the disc is, the disc hole, which is really cool, the hub where the disc sits. And uh, I think that's really neat where you can see that flashlight right there in the middle. Perfect. Just perfect. And I'll go ahead and take this off right here, a little hub. You can see it's a little rubber stopper hub. That's pretty cool. And there you go. And put that back on there. And if you flip it over in the back, it's a nice shot right there. The door being opened. Leading down the steps to the basement area. Where supposedly Madeline O'Malley's body was hidden. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this back in. And slides in there, right there. And then the other side, you have a nice poster, which was really cool. I'll go ahead and open this up. And it's 24 by 36 inches, so it's a rather large poster. Uh, it's nicely folded right there, so it fits perfectly inside uh, the gatefold edition. And here we go up the top, a ghost story for the minimal wage, I like that. And again, you can see Sarah Paxton and Pat Healy right there. Pat Healy holding the uh, EVT recorder. And the ghost of Madeline O'Malley right there, right above them. Which is really neat. I love the artwork for this. Really cool. I love the text as well. For the title. The dude designs, oh, fantastic artist. He's done so many uh, great artwork for different films. Uh, I believe he did the Hobo with the shotgun artwork. Uh, he did the They Live artwork, I believe, as well for uh, Shout Factory. Great artist. And this looks fantastic for this release right here. How cool is that? Very intricate detailing all throughout. Love that. I just can't say enough great things about this poster artwork. And this edition overall, it just looks fantastic. And the poster just slides right back inside. Go ahead and right there. So there you go, there's the Innkeepers Limited Edition Gatefold Blu-ray, limited to 400 copies. Again, signed by Ty West, the director. We'll love that. Nice silver Sharpie. And absolutely love this edition, love this film. Can't say enough great things about this film. If you love minimalistic horror, if you love classic ghost stories, I highly recommend checking out the Innkeepers. Uh, definitely one of my favorite horror movies of recent years. And again, really great edition, very cool one, uh, very unique. I haven't seen another Blu-ray edition like this before. 
So there you go. There's a more in-depth look at the Endkeepers Limited Edition Gatefold Blu-ray. Again, if you've seen the Endkeepers, definitely let me know what you think of it and let me know what your favorite ghost story movie is as well. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.